in here, but as you know, as you know, as you look around, our Canadian friends, most of our international friends and several other countries are unable to attend to the travel here to the U.S. due to the COVID restrictions. We can't wait to see them next year. For Facebook, let's give them a big round of applause, huh? Yeah. However, as you know, the guy in the lime tennis shoes wants to take the show over. So, uh, when he's done, step in. Might as well get down there and dance for us a little bit. Come on. Way in the back. Uh, we are very fortunate, as you know, to have most of the COVID restrictions lifted. And tomorrow, you will see there are no COVID restrictions in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. We really got lucky, and we're all very, very appreciative. For all of you players that are attending this year, thank you for taking the extra step and all the precautions to get here. We really appreciate it. We're going to put on a great show for you. Now, I cannot go any farther. My name is Greg Elliott, Executive Director of the VNEA. Enough said, right? That don't mean Jack. But I'll tell you what does mean Jack is for the last 40 years, 40 years. How many people have been here for 30 plus years? How about the last 10 plus years? Great. Boy, are you going to love tomorrow. For the last 40 years, our opening ceremonies MC has been Gary Benson. Gary Benson passed away on 12-6-2019. Hence, the armbands that some of us are supporting and the t-shirts that show Benson, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Gary cannot be replaced, but he would want us to carry on bigger and better in his honor, I promise you. I didn't even think I'd get choked up for that. Gary was buried, now listen to this, this is amazing. Gary was buried at Fort Logan Cemetery in Denver, Colorado. Fort Logan Cemetery means nothing to you right now. But in one minute, as fate would have it, Major General John Logan was personally responsible for the creation of Memorial Day back in the 1800s. What do you think of that, Shannon and John, huh? Isn't that crazy? With that being said, on Memorial Day, I want to bring up, bring up past VNEA President Ed Borgia to say a couple words. General Logan uh, started Decoration Day in 1871, and it was after the Civil War to recognize our soldiers. Uh, today is Memorial Day, and Memorial Day is a day that we recognize all of our soldiers that defended our country and died doing it. And when it also was called Decoration Day, which we decorate the graves of all of our American heroes. How many veterans are here today? We'd like you to stand up. All veterans stand up. All families of veterans. VNEA would like to recognize you because today we would not be having this if you did not defend our freedom. The reason we are free in doing this today is because all of these people who are standing and people who have passed, and that is what Memorial Day is all about. So if we just have a minute of silence and remembrance and prayer for everybody who is defending our country in foreign nations and abroad today. All right, thank you everybody. Enjoy the party. 
and enjoy Memorial Day, and now you know what we're all about. The BNEA, our family here. Have fun. Thanks, Ed. We're only 17 minutes away from free beer. Yeah. <laughs> and free pop. <laughs> Uh, we will honor Gary tomorrow morning at the team opening ceremonies for you, all of you with a 9 o'clock uh, uh, match time. But tonight, he would want us to get on with recognizing all of our participants and winners. So, we will begin with all of our entries coming up for the Parade of Flags little down from the previous years, but still, worldwide, from the Bahamas, 23 entries. Oh. I guess it can't be two places at once. But while we're waiting for the Bahamas to come up, uh, through the course of the night, I have a $30 gift certificate in my back pocket for anybody, now this will get off a little bit, anybody, Dr. Q, that can lick their own elbow. Okay, keep trying. $30, let Brian know if you do it. We'll get to take a picture. What you always gotta do is lick your own elbow. You got 30 bucks coming. I'm sorry, Bahama. Did he say how? I know. I didn't say how.
Nine ball women's Charlie winners, first through fourth. Nine ball women's. Come on over and see Brian here waving his hands. Nine ball women's. Charlie's winners. Nine ball winners. You go, boy. All right, now. Way to go, kid. The most of the tournament was America, but that's okay. Canada can't wait to come back, and the internationals can't wait to come back and dethrone you guys from the top. But for now, let's go through the states. We had 26 states come out this year through these tough, tough times. Nine ball women's over to see Brian. Alabama, four entries. Alaska, 80 entries. Arizona, 36 entries. Colorado, 200. Florida, 65. Georgia, 14. Idaho, 17. Great state of Illinois, 77. Indiana, 95. Iowa, 42. The best state in the country, Michigan, 59. Minnesota, 181. Montana, 34. The home of our current president, Nebraska, 43. Making the trip all the way from Nevada, 49. <laughs> Apparently couldn't make it here, though. New Mexico, 30. North Dakota, 5. I'm not sure why they want to stay there. Ohio, 181. Yeah! Let's see if she's here. Listen up. Oklahoma, 1. <laughs> Cindy didn't make it. Pennsylvania, 59. South Dakota, 93. The great state of Texas, 115. Yeah! Utah, 54. West Virginia, 21. Wisconsin, 53. Wyoming, where? No, no, Wyoming, 36. Oh, God. So amazingly, from 2019, there are more Americans here in 2021 after all this than there was in 2019. Give yourselves a big round of applause. The National Anthem of America. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to join our pool family. Here's a couple of videos you might be interested in seeing. Thank you again.